In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The waters of baptism, John P. Anthony, the died of Christ, and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory.
that your son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant George P. Anthony, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice twice again through fear, who lives our ways with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Dwelling not made with hands eternal in heaven, 
We are always courteous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. But we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please Him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense, according to what we did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. come true. 
And so, what does it mean? It gives the Bible some kind of authenticity. Because if everything is true, then what Jesus is saying is true. Okay, so you've got some basis. So, here you have Jesus talking to us and saying, so every prophecy has been fulfilled from the beginning of time to today. Everything has been fulfilled, and what the body here in the book of Revelation will be fulfilled. So, you have authenticity there, right? So, in today's reading, you have three promises. And this is what you need to take into account. And I hope I can give the family some kind of consolation because it's not me speaking, it's Jesus from the readings. And I'm just going to spell out the reading to you. So let's look at the three promises. It's a short reading, right? So, first, first promise. God's promise of the divine fellowship. <clears throat> divine fellowship. What is divine fellowship? It's a wonderful promise, right? So what does he say? He's saying everything according to the Father gospel. Jesus said these words. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. You, you heard that? Do you hear it? Let me repeat that. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I, said Jesus, will not reject anyone who comes to me. Can you apply that here? I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Okay? What does this mean? Anyone. Anyone. All of us. All of us. What a wonderful promise, no? Where does Jesus' authority come from? His authority comes from the Father. He says, look what he says. He says, why? <clears throat> because I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, says Jesus. I'm just reading the gospel there. And this is the will of the one who sent me. This tells us that whenever we deal with Christ, we're dealing with the Father. So I will not reject anyone who comes to me. So it's an invitation for all to come. <clears throat> those that think they're good, those that think they're bad, the sick, the tired, the sinful, anything, anything. She's just calling on us. Those who are lonely, those who are trying to deal with loneliness through other means and so on. She just says, I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Okay. There is no sin so great. That God's love is not greater. There's no sense so great. That God's love is not greater. So you see, if you want to have the divine fellowship of Christ, He wants us to come to Him. Bobby did. I mean, um, Josh did. She would do. Complete surrender to God. You should see Him when I visit the house. There was surrender, there was peace in the face. Even though I expected him to fight, there was that peace. You don't see those in that. Somebody was fighting. You don't see that. Second promise is that of security. And what the, according to the Bible, from the gospel we heard, and says, This is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me. But that I should raise it on the last day. Any more security you want? If you're with him, then you can't have anything. We lose we look for security and I don't know, as human beings, we are always so afraid we're not gonna have enough. Big house, big bank account, big homes, big cars, big whatever. It's just it's because we we put our security in things. As human beings, that's normal, not supposed to be normal, but it's normal. But in, in God's eyes, He says, they're leaving everything behind. What do you take? Security should be the Lord. That security has to be God. No, it's given only by God who promised it. So, for all of us, we can have all the money in the world, everything. This is how we go. No purse with, I mean, no, you bought with all the stuff he's got. Security is God. 
what you see is a family that is in line. Good, good kids. Beautiful mind. Two brothers, sister, in laws. That's what you see. That's what will remain with him, with you, about him. Security and material things don't come. So Jesus is basically saying, put your fulfillment in me. And the last promise. The last promise of everlasting life. And this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him, you hear me? For this is the will of my Father. Jesus, Jesus is saying these words, this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have eternal life, and I shall raise Him up on the last day. I shall raise Him up on the last day. You want a bit of promise? So if all the promises in the Bible are true, every one of them has been fulfilled. Three more promises. What do you think? Are they not going to be fulfilled? We walk by faith, not by sight. We believe in that. So we know where it is. Our faith tells us where it is. That's the promise of everlasting life. Glorified bodies, new bodies of the last day. So cleanse the question. Why at 62? So young. This is saying the gospel to you. Jesus is one of them. So not more than you one of them. So, what does it look from outside? What does it look from that side? So, if those of us who, who go to the airport every now and then, you, you reach people to the airport, you go to the arrival side and you go to the departure side. On the departure side, you have people long hugs, kissing goodbyes, don't want to let go. Just want to hold on to them. And then they go into the into the plane. The plane that's huge takes off and becomes little, 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 little and disappears. Up in the air, gone. You don't see the plane anymore. But on the other side, that little plane that disappeared appears. The little, 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 little becomes big again and comes right down. And everybody on that side is waiting as soon as people come down. They hug him and hold him and everything. That's what's happening on the other side right now. Well, the departure sign is sad. In heaven, in the arrival section, there's joy. There's joy. It's in heaven. The arrival section is beautiful. It's not easy to accept that, right? Because we humans, we want to hold on. We try to hold on. And God just... And so today we pray for Shibu for Shibu, affectionately called Shibu. We pray for him. We know what he is, but we pray for you guys. Pray for you. Pray for you. To hold strong that we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk knowing full well. 
God, the Almighty Father, raised to Christ his Son from the dead. With the confidence, we ask him to save all his people, uh, living and dead. The response shall be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For George Anthony, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our brother George Anthony, who was nourished at the table of the Savior, welcome him into the halls of heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Paul Amaretus Benedict XVI, who recently passed away, May he enter into eternal home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all those who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the church may manifest in concrete ways the truth of the, of the Christ's triumph over death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Assembled here today, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord and pray for the happy repose of their souls. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For both Francis, that God will give him the strength and courage to continue to lead and guide our church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your Hear the prayers we offer for the departure of brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
hands of the Father, the divine soul of our brother. Let us also pray in a special way the divine soul of Father Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who died on the same day, December 31st, and buried on the same day today. Pray, brother, and sister, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, George P. Anthony, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. I look at your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is to you wise and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everyone to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of brother's resurrection has dawned. That those silent things of dying may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this heavenly one turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, the angels and archangels, the drawn to dominions, and all the gods and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as the Lord again we acclaim him.
For this is the kindness of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for us, for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of Deliver us, Lord, we pray from 
after he was virtually at peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all, all distrust, and avoid the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. The God of our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Just a moment for uh, the reception of Holy Communion, the Eucharist. Jesus uh, in the sacrament of his body and blood uh, through the simple appearance of bread. We will have uh, four stations. We will have two in the center in the back and two in the center in the front. If you will just form lines to come up to receive communion and then go back uh, to your pew the normal way. If you are not Catholic, I still invite you, or if you're not practicing your faith, I still invite you to come forward. Uh, simply cross your arms or cross your chest uh, when you come up, and that will be a sign to us to give you a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. 
on behalf of uh, the family, I would like to thank Father Franco and Father Anthony for consecrating. Lord God, whose son loved us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, a mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother George P. Anthony may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives our ways forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. And now I invite Ronnie, Justin, and Venus. Come forward and sit forward. Get it done, 
He expressed his love through sheer dedication and giving his complete attention towards you. Getting injured was common for us growing up, playing on the streets of Bangalore. A little yelling for not being careful enough would soon be followed by care for the wounds. So gentle and thorough. No nerves are knocked out of match. Papa's relationship with his siblings and loved ones is truly something we all admire and aspire to instill in our lives. A man with no ego is impossible to find, but our dad was really damn close to Disagreements and arguments vanish overnight with him. During his fight with cancer, I remember being in the, in the hospital room when he was asked what keeps him going. His answer, spoken like a true warrior, was, I have no other option but to fight. And fought he did. These past couple of months was cruel for him, to say the least. The pain he endured got so bad that it took him to the ICU at one point. Despite all the turmoil, he would find it in him to ask. Everyone around him is doing okay. And would ask us to make sure they are fed. My fondest memory with Papa was a ride back home from school on the Smata CT 100. I was around, I was in the third or fourth grade and would work great eagerly with Neha his best friend, Akhilya Mithun's daughter, to get picked up on his bike. I would sit on the gas tank and she would sit behind him. He'd take us through the crazy Bangalore traffic and once we reached the calmer stretch of the ride, he'd let me take control of the handlebar. Knowing he has my back, I would take us as far as traffic alone, after which he would promptly bring his arms and gently back to the top. Today, I have my hands back on that handlebar, knowing you will always have my back. Ending with a word to power, he used to fight often in his final day, in his final days, that loosely translates to keep going on. Boy, hey, not a man's, it is a man's job to also help his wife. My dad used to always help my mom out in the kitchen. I still remember when we were kids. My mom was doing her masters after she had three of us. She used to go to school in the morning and then had to go for a master's class. And my dad took on the role of my mom, filled in her shoes and for the two years she was studying. didn't make us feel any less than what my mom would have done. Pa, I know the last couple of months 
ones have been really hard for you. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. I know we will not miss you here going forward bodily. But I'm glad the pain is ended. I'm glad the suffering is ended. Please rest in peace, Pa. Thank you for everything you've done for us. We all love you and we will miss you always. Your body may not be here, but your essence will be with us forever. I would also like to take this opportunity on behalf of my family, my brothers, my mom, to thank all of you all for coming here today. I'd especially like to thank all our relatives who travel from far and wide to make it here today to celebrate the life of my father. I know there has been a lot of flight cancellations and delays, but we all all took that effort and are here today and we really do appreciate you being here with us today. I would also like to thank all our friends and family for helping us through these tough times. They're bringing us food by giving us your kind words, just by feeling, making us feel your presence with us during these tough times. I would also like to thank Nativity Church, Lewis and her team, the Nativity Choir, and the parish priest Paula Meister for helping us with everything for today's ceremony. I would also like to extend a special thanks to Father Anthony who took time from his vacation to help us without him. He could have delayed a lot of things, so thank you so much, Father. We really do appreciate it. I would also like to thank Father Franco for helping us celebrate this Mass. And more than that, when my dad was sick during his last days, Father was there at home. He sang a few songs for my dad with his guitar, shared them all. Thank you so much, Father. I really do appreciate it. And I would also like to thank Shaitu Achin. Again, Shaitu Achin has been there with us right from the start. He was always checking on dad, always calling me, always praying for dad. Thanks to Father Shaitu Achin, we were able to celebrate the Christmas Mass at home along with my dad. Thank you so much, Father. I would also like to thank Father Vikartu, who was there again to help my father to test spiritually, gave him his last rites in the hospital bed the day before he passed, who unfortunately could not be here. I would also like to thank Father Adhapadil, who was who came to the hospital right after my dad passed, did the last night, prayed over him. I would like to thank him here once again. I'd also like to thank Sister Zeta and Sister Mira for helping us with everything yesterday for doing the last week of my father. I would also like to thank the ACCF executive, the building board, board and all the volunteers for helping us out with all the arrangements. During this tough time, it would have been really hard for me, my brothers and the family to pull together everything that we see around us today and everything with the wake and the funeral. So thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. I would also sincerely like to thank Roman Optin for helping us with the live streaming and KVTV. I'd like to thank Hillsboro Memorial Funeral Home, CJ Wilson and his team for helping us with all the arrangements and making this a really smooth process. And last but not the least, I would like to thank all the doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, both from PTH and from our family and friends, especially our friends and family on 2H and 3H in PTH. We spent a lot of time in the hospital there we spent our thanksgiving there and it was all of y'all who helped us a lot there, made it feel like home. 
even really nice in this day. So it really like to thank all of y'all, all the doctors, both who treated my dad and from my family and friend circle who was always there when it was out. All the nurses from our family and friends who any time my mom called was there at home to help us with the stuff like we would not have made it this far without all of y'all. So once again, I would really thank all of y'all for everything y'all do. Thank you for coming out today to help celebrate the life of my father. Thank you. And Pa, I hope you rest in peace. Like you said, Skuta is there. Peace. Thank you. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself.
into your hands, Father of mercies. We commend our brother George Anthony in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will ride with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon George Anthony in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith. And so we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest.
മാത്രമായി വിട ചൊല്ലി പിരിയുമ്പോൾ ഓർക്കുമോ നിങ്ങളെ സോദരരെ മറക്കുമോ നിങ്ങളെ സ്നേഹിതരെ ഓർമ്മകൾ മാത്രമായി വിട ചൊല്ലി പിരിയുമ്പോൾ ഓർക്കുമോ നിങ്ങളെ സോദരരെ തീരത്ത് കണ്ടു മുട്ടാം ഓർമ്മകൾ മാത്രമായി വിട ചൊല്ലി പിരിയുമ്പോൾ ഓർക്കുമോ നിങ്ങളെ സോ സ്നേഹബന്ധങ്ങളും നാമരൂപങ്ങളും ഭൂവിതിൽ മാത്രമേ കാണുള്ളൂ ബന്ധങ്ങളും നാമരൂപങ്ങളും ഭൂവിതിൽ മാത്രമേ കാണുള്ളൂ ഇന്നു ഞാൻ നാളെ നീ എന്നതാവാം സ്നേഹ രക്തബന്ധങ്ങൾ പോലും മറഞ്ഞു പോകാം ഇന്നു ഞാൻ നാളെ നീ എന്നതാവാം സ്നേഹ രക്തബന്ധങ്ങൾ പോലും മറഞ്ഞു പോകാ
பயம் என் சுவதேசத்து செல்லேணம் ஏசுவினே காணேணம் சமயமா ரதத்தில் ஞான் ஸ்வர்கயாத்திர செய்யுன்னு என் சுவதேசம் காண்மதின்னாய் தனியே போகுந்து சமயமா ரதத்தில் ஞான் ஸ்வர்கயாத்திர செய்யுன்னு என் சுவதேசம் காண்மதின்னாய் ஞான் தனியே போகும்
ിൽ ക്ഷമ ചോദിക്കുന്നു കൂടാരം വേടിയും കുഞ്ഞാടു ഞാൻ ഈ ലോകവാസം പുൽക്കൂടി പോലെ യാത്രയാകുന്നിത പ്രിയജനമേ കരയല്ലേ കരയല്ലേ ും പോകാതെ വയ്യ ഈ കണ്ണുനീരിൽ കാണുന്നു സ്നേഹത്തിൻ കടലെന്നാലും പോകാതെ വയ്യ യാത്രയാകുന്നിത പ്രിയജനമേ കരയല്ലേ കരയൽ
തീരു മണ്ണാകും നീ ദേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു മണ്ണിലെ ഈ ദേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു മണ്ണാകും നീ ദേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു എത്ര ശ്രമിച്ചാലും നിൽക്കുവാൻ പറ്റില്ല സൃഷ്ടാവിൻ്റെ വീളി കേട്ടേ തീരു എത്ര ശ്രമിച്ചാലും നിൽക്കുവാൻ പറ്റില്ല സൃഷ്ടാവിൻ്റെ വീളി കേട്ടേ തീരു മണ്ണിലെ ഈ ഗേഹം വിട്ടേ
ദൈവവാചനത്തിൻ സത്യം മാറക്കേണ്ട ദൈവീക കൽപ്പന പാലിക്കാൻ മടിക്കേണ്ട നിത്യഗേഹം വന്ന് സ്വന്തമാക്കിയിടുവൻ സൃഷ്ടാവിൻ്റെ വഴി പോയേ തീരു നിത്യഗേഹം വന്ന് സ്വന്തമാക്കിയിടുവൻ സൃഷ്ടാവിൻ്റെ വഴി പോയേ തീരു മണ്ണിലെ ഈ ഗേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു മണ്ണാകും നീ ദേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു മണ്ണിലെ ഈ ഗേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു മണ്ണാകും നീ ദേഹം വിട്ടേ തീരു എത്ര ശ്രമിച്ചാലും നിൽക്കുവാൻ പറ്റില്ല സൃഷ്ടി ിയ 
പാവിനിക്ക് പൊറുതി കൊടുത്തവളെ വിശദീകരിച്ച കർത്താവേ നിന്റെ അനുഗ്രഹത്താൽ മരിച്ചവരെ വിശദീകരിക്കണമേ മലാഖമാരുടെ കൂടെ സ്വർഗത്തിൽ നിന്നെ സ്തുതിക്കുവാൻ അവരെ യോഗ്യരാക്കണമേ ജീവന്റെയും മണ്ണത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വരൻ അവർക്ക് നിത്യാശ്വാസം കൊടുക്കുന്നുമായി കർത്താവേ അങ്ങനെ ഞങ്ങൾ ആരാധിക്കുകയും പങ്കെടുക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു ജീവന്റെയും മരണത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വരാണ്യമേഴും ചിരമിവാളിലും മുഖമൊടുകല്ലറ വിട്ടെഴുന്നേൽക്കും വരിക നിരക്കായാതി മുതൽ ഞാൻ കരുതിയ രാജ്യം നേടുക നാഥേൽക്കും ദൈവമേ എന്റെ പാദങ്ങൾ കഴിയിക്കളയണമേ മറ്റവരെ ഉയർപ്പിക്കുന്നവനെ എന്നിട്ട് തിരുനാമത്തിന് നിന്റെ വലത്ത് ഭാഗത്ത് നിർത്തുകയും ചെയ്യട്ടെ പാവങ്ങൾ പൊറുക്കുന്നവനും കരുണ നിറഞ്ഞവന് നീതിമാനുമായ വിധി കർത്താവേ ജീവന്റെയും മണ്ണത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവുമായ സർവേശ്വര കർത്താവ് ഈ മരിച്ചവരെ നീ കരുണാപൂർവ്വം ജീവിക്കണമേ ജീവിക്കുന്നവരെ ദയാപൂർവ്വം കാത്തു പരിപാലിക്കണമേ ഉദ്ധാനം പ്രതീക്ഷിച്ച് മരണമടഞ്ഞവരെ മഹിമയോട് കൂടെ ഉയർപ്പിക്കണമേ ജീവന്റെയും മരണത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനും പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധാർവുമായ പ്രവേശ്വര സകലത്തിന്റെയും നാഥനായ ദൈവം തന്റെ നീതിമാന്മാരുടെ വിശുദ്ധരോടും കൂടെ ഉത്കൃഷ്ടമായി ഏർപ്പം മഹനീയ മാന്യത്വ ജീവനം നൽകി സ്വർഗരാജ്യമാകുന്ന പ്രയോജിപ്പിക്കുമാറാകട്ടെ നമ്മിൽ നിന്ന് വേർപിട്ടു പോയ മിശിക്കാട്ട ഭൗതിക ശരീരത്തില് ഈ അംഗത്തെ അനുഗമിക്കുകയും ഇവിടെ സംസ്കാരത്തിൽ സഹകരിച്ച ഈ ആൾ ബഹുമാനിക്കുകയും ചെയ്ത നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവരെയും ദൈവ സമർത്ഥമായി അനുഗ്രഹിക്കട്ടെ അവിടുത്തെ കൃപ നിരന്തരം നിങ്ങൾ വസിക്കുകയും അവിടുത്തെ കാരണം നിന്നും നിങ്ങളെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യട്ടെ ഇപ്പോഴും എപ്പോഴും എന്നേക്കും ആരെങ്കിലും ഫ്ലൈറ്റിലെ വല്ല ലേറ്റായിട്ട് വന്നവര് കാണാതെ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഷൂട്ട് ചെയ്ത ടൈം ആരെങ്കിലും ഇന്നലെ ഫ്ലൈറ്റിൽ ലേറ്റായിട്ട് വന്നവർ ആരെങ്കിലും ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഡിലേഡായിട്ട് അവരത് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ സന്തോഷിച്ചു 
പിതാവിനും പുറനും പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനും സ്തുതി ആദി മുതൽ എന്നേക്കും വാമേൻമേഗണമേ സഭയെ കാത്തു ഭരിക്കണമേ മരണത്തിൻ വായി പൂട്ടണമേ ശാന്തി കരത്തിൽ വിതയ്ക്കണമേ കരുണാനിധിയാം കർത്താവേ ശബ്ദമുയർത്തുമ്പോൾ 
വിശുദ്ധർക്ക് പ്രകാശം ഉദിച്ചു ചെറിയവരും വലിയവരും